guilty. That is the most important word in this day of historic developments in the special prosecutor's investigation. Guilty. In the very first case that Special Prosecutor Robert Mueller brought in his investigation of collusion between the Trump campaign and Russia, Robert Mueller got a guilty, and that happened weeks ago. But we learned about it today. On the same day that Robert Mueller indicted Paul Manafort and his associate Rick Gates on 12 counts, including conspiracy against the United States. Today, the President of the United States tried to pretend that Paul Manafort's conspiracy against the United States was something that happened long before Donald Trump hired Paul Manafort to run his presidential campaign. And that is just another Trump lie. Paul Manafort's alleged crimes against the United States occurred before he joined the Trump campaign and continued while he was on the Trump campaign and after he left the Trump campaign and continued right into this year, right into 2017. Paul Manafort was charged with crimes today that he committed this year, as well as years past. Paul Manafort and Rick Gates pleaded not guilty today, which is what everyone was anticipating would be the big news of the day until Robert Mueller revealed this morning that he already had a guilty in a secret federal court arraignment on October 5th. 30-year-old Trump campaign foreign policy advisor George Papadopoulos was charged with lying to the FBI, and he was asked, how do you wish to plead? And he said, immediately, I plead guilty. And with those three words, George Papadopoulos stepped into history. He is the very first defendant charged by Robert Mueller, and he is the first to plead guilty. The question tonight, rattling the Trump White House, and no doubt making Donald Trump's insomnia all the more acute tonight is, has George Papadopoulos just become the E. Howard Hunt of this investigation? E. Howard Hunt was the first to plead guilty in the Watergate investigation that brought down the Nixon presidency. After Hunt pled guilty, 55 people were found guilty or pled guilty in that special prosecutor's investigation of Watergate, which culminated in President Nixon being forced to resign the presidency. George Papadopoulos has pl pled guilty to lying to the FBI <clears throat> in answer to several questions about multiple contacts that he had with Russians and people he believed to be agents of the Russian government and one person he believed to be Vladimir Putin's niece. In other words, he lied to the FBI about collusion with Russians and his own attempted collusion with the Russian government, continued attempted collusion. The guilty that Robert Mueller got on October 5th re and was revealed today was a guilty about collusion. George Papadopoulos admitted in his guilty plea that one of his Russian sources, quote, told him about the Russians possessing dirt on then-candidate Hillary Clinton in the form of thousands of emails. Papadopoulos lied multiple times about that and lied multiple times about when he learned that information. Lied to the FBI about that. The special prosecutor discovered that Papadopoulos tried to arrange a meeting between candidate Trump and Vladimir Putin. In a brief outlining Papadopoulos' offenses that was submitted to the judge at the arraignment, in writing, the special prosecutor detailed many of Papadopoulos' written communications, but avoided identifying exactly who he was communicating with. At one point, a person identified only as campaign supervisor says this about Papadopoulos's collusion with Russians. Great work. George Papadopoulos had a choice when he submitted to a voluntary interview with the FBI. Admit to his collusion with Russians, which he knew was the very heart of the matter that the FBI was investigating. Admit to all that, give it all up, or lie. It wasn't like George Papadopoulos was one of those sad sacks who got tripped up by the FBI and lied about some minor thing for which he now has to plead guilty. George Papadopoulos was lying about collusion with Russians. He was lying about the very essence of what the special prosecutor's investigation is all about. 
In that secret arrangement, the judge asked George Papadopoulos's lawyer, do you concur that the government would be able to prove each of the necessary elements of the offense beyond a reasonable doubt? Yes, Your Honor, said George Papadopoulos's defense lawyer. The judge then asked Papadopoulos if he read the special prosecutor's statement of offense detailing all of the lies that George Papadopoulos told the FBI. The judge said, did you read the document carefully? Papadopoulos said, Yes, I did, Your Honor. The judge said, is everything in that document true? Yes, it is, Your Honor. The bad news for President Trump is that George Papadopoulos secretly pled guilty three weeks ago, and the even worse news for Donald Trump is that George Papadopoulos is cooperating with the special prosecutor, telling the special prosecutor everything he knows, and George Papadopoulos, is, Papadopoulos knows that his future depends on him telling the truth. His sentence depends on him telling the truth. He pled guilty three weeks ago to a federal felony that carries a maximum sentence of five years in prison and a maximum fine of $250,000. At his secret arrangement, the judge told George Papadopoulos that if he continued to fully cooperate with the special prosecutor, his prison sentence could be, quote, between zero to six months, and that his fine could be, quote, between $500 and $9,500. The judge then told George Papadopoulos that it was completely within the judge's discretion to impose a sentence that is either higher or lower than those guidelines that he just explained to him. And so even though George Papadopoulos had already said that he wanted to plead guilty, the judge, following standard procedure in an arraignment like this, took all the time necessary to explain to the defendant all of his rights, and then said, so Mr. Papadopoulos, are you ready to make a decision about whether you want to enter a plea of guilty or whether you wish to go to trial in this case? Yes, Your Honor, said Papadopoulos. And what's your decision, asked the judge. I'd like to plead guilty, Your Honor. And are you entering this plea of guilty voluntarily and of your own free will because you are guilty and for no other reason? Yes, Your Honor. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.